In this question, we're given a table of some x values and some values for f of x, and we're going to see how can we describe this table right here. So on the top right here, we see that x are going from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So each every time is just going up by 1. Nothing crazy, right? Nothing tricky. That's good. And let's look at the values for f of x. First, we have 7. Next, we have 13. So it seems that it's going up by 6. And from 13 to 19, hmm, once again, it's going up by 6, right? And let me write that down. I want to see if that's the same pattern over and over. So plus 6 from 7 to 13, right? And then from 13 to 19, that's still plus 6. And then from 19 to 25, yes, we can still go up by 6. And if I add 6 to 25, yes, we end up with 31. As you can see, when x are going up by 1, the values for f of x is going up by 6. We are keeping adding the same number over and over. We are adding a number over and over. Therefore, in this case, this is what we call the linear growth because we are keep adding the same number over and over. And if you want to see why this is linear, well, we can, of course, sketch a graph real, real quick. Let's say this is the x values and right here for the y-axis, that's the value for f of x. And we are going from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and starting from 7, right? And then each every time I'm going by 6. So let me just now write down like, you know, 13 digital lines or so. This much is 7, so this is for 6. Let's say this right here is 13, and then the next much is right here is 19, and then 25, and then 31. Now draw to scale, okay? So 0, 0,7 is right here, and then 1, 13 is right here, 2, 19 is right here, and then 3, 25 is right here, 4, 31 is right here. And once again, I know this much is 1 already. <laughs> I said this is 7. Now draw to scale. Doesn't matter because if you keep this much being the same, right? This is 7, I said this is 6, and then this is about 6, this is 6, this is 6. You see that? When you put all these points onto the graph, when you connect the dots, you see what? You see a line, right? Therefore, this is what we mean by linear growth. It's growth because it's going up. It has a positive rate. That's it.